Uh, guys, thank you so much for being with us, Twin Cities. These guys don't need any introduction, but I'll give one anyway. Terry Hatcher, James Denton, and their new film is A Kiss Before Christmas, which is going to air this Sunday, November 21st at 7 p.m. here in the Twin Cities on the Hallmark Channel. Guys, you guys are the, one of the most iconic couples on screen of all time, and now you're back. Tell us what we're going to see. No, you're back. <laughs> We're back. We're back. Oh, it's the best way to be reunited for Christmas. It is. It's really been fun. <laughs> and James, you are the producer of this film. You reached out to Terry to be in the film. Obviously, that tells us, we already knew it, but that tells us that you your connection from working together on Desperate Housewives was as great off camera as it was on. Why did you want to have Terry in this film? Well, when we when we brought this idea to the network, um, there are two realities. It's a little bit of It's a Wonderful Life, a little Heaven Can Wait, where my character um, is dissatisfied with his life and wishes he had done things differently, and Santa Claus grants his wish. Well, now he's in a completely different reality. So we had to have an actress who could be my wife in my regular life. When she's a history teacher and a, a typical middle-class mom. And then in the other life, she's this high-powered attorney who can't stand me a very different person, even though she has the same name. So, and then I'm trying to win her over in that half of the movie. So it was really critical to get an actress that could do it. And on the same day, sometimes play both those roles within an hour of each other oh, and sweet. be brilliant. So um, I knew if we could get Terry, we had a movie. And if we couldn't, I didn't want to do it. So uh, wow. I was just sort of hopefully sent her a text and the script and she said, yes. Yeah. I was so excited to get asked, by the way, <laughs> uh, what you were going to ask something. What? I was just going to say, and I, I've heard James say, Terry, that he didn't think that you would say yes, but you, but you were very excited about being a part of it. Why were you excited about working with James? Again, what 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 drew you to this film? I think a, a lot of levels. Um, first, just getting to work with him again. Um, it's, you know, when you have that sort of special chemistry with somebody, it's like that kind of feeling where it had been a long time, but it felt like yesterday um, mm. when we first walked on this onto the set. You know, the room was different. The house was different. There were Christmas decorations everywhere, but it felt like going to work every day that I'd gone to the set on Desperate Housewives. Yeah. So that, that familiarity was great. Um, uh, I like the idea of being part of a Christmas movie. I'm a big fan of Christmas. Um, I have lots of traditions and uh, I really get that warm feeling. That's exciting to be a part of that. Um, and lastly, I guess really because the Desperate Housewives true fans uh, got pretty gypped out of a happy <laughs> Susan and Mike happily ever after. Oh, that's the truth. And even though these are different characters and a different story, the chemistry between the two of us is similar. And I felt like those fans will get to vicariously finally mm -hmm. get the happy ending that they might have wanted for Susan and Mike. <laughs> and here's a question for you. So you guys, uh, like I said, one of the most iconic couples on screen you both have your own lives, though, and obviously are not married in real life. But in another dimension, do you think you guys would be good? Would you guys do good as a real life couple? Or are there things where you're like, no, I kind of know that like this thing would annoy me. How would you guys be as a married couple if it actually happened in real life? Would you, get, <laughs> you think you'd get along or would there be those, those little things that, that, that would clash? I really want to hear his answer to this question. No, I will say, you think about your answer. I'll just say, I'll say I, yes, we'd be fantastic. I think we'd but. be fantastic, but you know, that's that that's not where where it's headed. But um I think we both like the whole kind of nature, woods, fishing, hiking we're, thing. We're both boringly normal. Yeah, we're boringly normal. No. Uh, you know, just cook, be around your house, don't do anything particularly fancy. Uh, I think we no. both like that. I have discovered that I like to go to um, once in a while to really cool restaurants. I'm a big foodie mm -hmm. person mm -hmm. and uh, that's not his thing. So that's it. That goes in the no column. <laughs> 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 but I don't know. I, yeah, we're, we're not. But I think we would be. Yeah, I think we would be, too. Awesome. Well, I know you guys got to go in like one minute. So I'm going to sneak this last question in quick. I know it's a long shot, but I did ask Emilio Estevez back in the day about making Young Guns 3. He mentioned everybody died in Young Guns 2, but hey, guess what? They're now making Young Guns 3. So my question for you is, Mike died in Desperate Housewives, but hey, maybe you mentioned we got gypped, bringing back a reunion and somehow we find out that Mike didn't actually die. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is there any chance of a Desperate Housewives reunion and getting Mike back involved somehow? 
Well, I have a little idea of how we could do that because he clearly died. There's no like Mike didn't die like no, that. You know, but I think Susan could become a really famous um, children's book uh, writer, which she was yeah. like J.K. Rowling, billions of dollars. And with all that money, she builds a top of the line Mike robot that she lives with. So <laughs> yes. like an A.I. Mike. That's a good uh -huh. idea, right? So that's how that's how we get Mike back into the picture. I would love to do it. Well, James, you're the producer, so make it happen. Yeah, well, I'll try. Yeah, I don't know if it's a Hallmark movie, but uh, <laughs> we'll try. Very true. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much. I'd love to talk to you more. I know you guys got to go. Appreciate the time. Twin Cities, check this movie out. A Kiss Before Christmas airs this Sunday, November 21st, 7 p.m. on the Hallmark Channel. Thanks, guys. Thank Thanks, John. you. Happy holidays.